Hey guys, welcome back to Dan Helton Gaming. I'm Dan Helton. You want to know how hot it is in here right now? <laughs> it is 89 degrees. 89. Windows says that it's 92 outside. But it's 82 in here, or 89 in here according to the thermostat. On my free-to-play account, I got up to Diamond 5 and I haven't really gone past there this month, but I'm running out of time if I want to try to hit Legend. The Paladin deck that I was playing to Legend last uh, season, last month, uh, has been nerfed. It's still good, but it's not as good. And I have a pretty good version of a sort of combo rogue here. This is probably not the best list, but I think it's pretty good. I do have 655 dust, so I could craft some more stuff, but I could not craft 10 woo without disenchanting some things. So I just wanted to give this a try, see how it goes. Haven't been playing on this account, so I think it'll be fun just to give it a shot. I, I still only have 29 rogue wins. Valera versus Sylvanas. Victory for the Forsaken. I've not been playing very much standard lately. I think I have a sense of what the meta is. Sort of. But um, I definitely don't have much first-hand experience lately. And like, even right now, I don't know if I should play Guardian, Guardian Og Merchant on turn one for some tempo. Obviously, turn two, I could play both of these, so I think I would hold it. To do that, if you play, it's like a one-one. Let me work my magic. But that I can't kill. Well, I mean, I could have killed it with Wicked Stab, but Octobot was a lucky draw. Unless he has the Infestation card, adorable Infestation. Is that what it is? Like plus one, plus one. This is going to be a rough stream. Have no time for games. Yeah, we're off to a terrible start. At least we know this is a very aggressive deck. Combustion's a good pickup here. So Face Hunter, I assume, where it's using the Beast Trample, yeah, Kokar Pack Runner. So we can clear this for combustion, so that's pretty sweet. Once again, do I tempo the Guardian Og Merchant? It's an enabler for field contact. It's an enabler for swindle. I don't think I want to play it. <sighs> yeah, okay. I just would, would have just died to run this rifle. Now, should I secret passage? There's only three cards that I couldn't play. Obviously, in an ideal world, I'd get some cheap stuff that can combo, but there's nothing to clear away. So I think I go for this play. Cool. That was good. I honestly like the heat, <laughs> I really do, but being inside when it's 89, 
it's just miserable. Then like I want to be outside when it's 89 in the shade and feeling a breeze. And then I want to come back inside and have it be 70. If it hits 90 in here, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Do I shadow step one of these? I think I do. That was okay. So it looks like it's probably pack tactics and snake trap, although maybe an open the cages to try to pressure me down here. That's good. Three, four, five. It's quiet. Hey, you quiet. Good card draw. This is how we beat our hunter. We've drawn 10 more cards than our opponent. We still have 16 health. This is looking promising. We don't have a way of triggering the efficient Octobot in hand. Vengeance is near. I could mutinous, just hoping to remove a threat, but it. He might not even have multiple minions in hand. So I think we'd probably go Jandis Octobot. Vengeance is near. Let me work my of course, we don't want to leave things no on the board. So the last card they played was Quick Shot. I don't want to attack any of these. Not really, anyway. I wonder. This might not be like the most efficient play. But It lets me clear this stuff. No one crosses the uncrowded. Wasn't me. Hey, loser. Operation. And I would say we're looking pretty good. Hungry, aren't ya? Is that the rush? No, that's the other wolf or wolf, wolf per tinker. Although suddenly they've got eleven damage on the board. That's not great. What makes something Okay. 
Okay. Feeling dizzy. Dysfunctional. Initiating overdrive. I got it. Almost. Not not the greatest uh, face attack there, but that was a good top deck for us. Any piece left in their deck. And that's a good play. If we knew this was going face, uh, we have lethal. I got it almost. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Care to make a way to As the cycle of life is reborn anew. Unreliable ogre. Not optimistic ogre. Unreliable ogre. Right, wanna know. Valera versus Jaina. Knowledge is power. I make my own. I imagine this is still spell mage. Although uh, maybe hero power mage has gotten more popular. Should I be playing Og Merchant here? I don't know. I hate that I don't have a good answer for that. Like if it's Spell Mage. Okay, it's not Spell Mage, so playing Og Merchant into that wouldn't have been great. I think I take this a little slow and just care power here. Obviously next turn I can clear that. The whales of these caverns chill me. What the cold? It's not like I really care about my hero being frozen that much. It's just, this is a lot of damage coming in. Hmm. Hey, loser! It's okay that Penflinger is going to die. Like, it's useful, but it's not something that I need to hang on to the whole game. I don't really know what this deck is. Freeze Mage. Freeze Minion Mage. Hero Power. Mm. But that was a slow turn. I 
I imagine the swindle's the way to go here. I don't really know the value of yoink. Job's done. All I know is, the faster I draw my deck, usually the faster I win or lose and then move on to the next game. This is not a great hand though. I would love a brain freeze. Two and twenty one. I suppose since I have both field contacts, I just play one and swindle. I could shadow step it if I wanted to. If I draw three, it's quiet. I don't really have a better play of it than Secret Passage. There's the other shadow step. Oh, my dog's hungry. Like I definitely have higher value targets to shadow step. You know, Jandis, Kazakis, Alexstrasza. All right, I'll make you food after this game. Hold on. Being so far behind on board this game is really like awkward so far. Oh, it says explode. I could do field contact swindle again, which would put me at ten cards. I'd be pretty damn likely to get a brain freeze. And then maybe I shadow step away. All right. Too quiet. Both brain freezes. Wait, I'm going to mill a card no matter what here. Oh, no, not if I shadow step. Uh, wait, yes, even if- God damn it. Okay. This is gonna be rough. I know, I know. I'll feed you soon. You don't pick the ones. Well, what do we want to mail? You don't pick the ones. Anything cheap. Unfortunately, the top six cards in my deck my hand all legendary. Okay, that, that's fine. I just didn't want to burn it because it was my Octobot activator. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, shit, Kona called. It's a little awkward without spell power. to make a way to your friend. Give me that! Love what I love. I'm definitely doing a good job of drawing my entire deck. Efficient sufficient. <laughs> for better or for worse. Yeah, I'm 10 cards ahead again. And all of my expensive cards are still in the deck. 
except for mutinous. <laughs> and I've dealt no damage. But I still have one shadow step. So, you know, worst case scenario, both wicked stabs are six, so that's 12. And then I do Alex Straza twice for 16. That's 30 damage right there. It's in two turns. So this is hero power mage. Mutinous is such an all or nothing play here. Efficient is sufficient. Nothing gets past me. That's actually really annoying. Kind of counters the muteness. Ice frog is actually really cute. I don't really see how I win here. I can obviously heal. I'm probably still dead on turn ten if he's got his finisher. And the cycle of life. And I don't think I can shadow step the dragon proactively. I drew two minions. That's good. That's good. Probably not dead next turn. I'm looking for a few good to make a wager, friend. No one crosses the uncrowned. Too simple.
More dash. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. Just hoping for some good news. I can take them. Mutinous could have done it. Cool. I gotta take a break to feed the doggo. I'll be back. All right, rogue versus rogue. So there were obviously two or three lines there. Coing out the Octobot, doing what my opponent just did. Fraud and swindle. Efficient is sufficient. Maybe I should have done this first. Actually, I probably should have. Let's be real here. No one crosses the Oh, interesting. Is that triggering it? Care to make a wager, friend? I think we go for a card draw here. Two mana draw two feels good. Unless you can kill the Octobot. Yeah. He's taking a one thief. No one crosses the uncrowned. Good value. Damn it. Okay, three mana draw two. Hmm. I'm worried about getting too far behind here, but Enflinger could be pretty valuable in this matchup, so I'm gonna stick it. Plus, I can pen fling the Octobot, which is nice. Well, that's probably even better. Efficient is sufficient. That should upgrade. Probably. Initiating oh, overdrive. I 
guess we're going turn six mutinous since I just threw away the sh the. What makes something real? That would have been a fairly nice card to eat. I guess alternatively I can clear a lot more of this if I just play Flinger into Plunderer and Hero Power. That's so weak though. I wonder. But if Mutinous doesn't eat much, we're leaving up this 3-5. Dysfunctional. Hey, loser! Even though my dog's food is in a bowl, she refuses to eat it out of the bowl. I need to scoop it out for her onto a mat. Efficient is sufficient. She's a very particular dog. I like to see that. Initiating overdrive. Nothing gets past me. It's mutinous's favorite thing to eat. Freeze the mutinous. That should upgrade, probably. That was a good play. I think I kill the water elemental because obviously that's pretty annoying. Yeah. In the next turn, I can Oxidaza into Broomstick. So if there are any threats, I can deal with them. Heal myself. Attack for 12. Hmm. Pushing 20 probably won't be the way to go. Oh, we lost mutinous. Both super low on cards. Well, that's good for enabling something. <laughs> I'm wishing that I hadn't wasted the secret passage though. And the cycle of life is reborn anew. Death is not my goal. So good. Could we possibly draw our field contact? 
Probably. One in seven chance. Or we draw a swindle into field of contact. Friend. Or we draw a secret passage into one of these things. Oh man, this is so bad that... That was a horrible turn for us. Even if we got lucky, which we did. Care to make a wager, friend? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eleven, twelve. This does not bode well for our future. But uh Rustworks isn't bad. And obviously we get another Jandus. But he's drawing through his whole deck, so. Not good. Just need a fireball, or you needed a fireball. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. I'm almost out of cards. I'm out of cards. The rat returns! Swiftly! On top of having to be spoon fed, uh, she requires a treat such as a minnow, delicious minnow, after she eats. Otherwise, she'll be very grumpy. I mean, we're probably dead here. We could get some taunts and rushes with this. Jandis feels riskier. Taunts and rushes, let's go. Two rushes. I don't think that's gonna be really well. <sighs> that should upgrade, probably. Close game. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, it's just. Two. It was basically a mirror match, but they had the better cards. Valera versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I make my own luck. I guess I'll keep this because I can use the Penflinger on the Octavon on turn three. Let's 
And I am tempoing that out on turn one. In the dark, the light shines brightest. Care to make a way to run? We'll go for some card draw here. Play, but I guess it's a tempo play. Hey, loser. Let's draw more cards. We love drawing cards. Spell? That kind of sucks. Hmm. But I don't really want brain freeze. And I don't want spring water, I don't think. Because it's probably going to be a full five cost. Well, it doesn't seem like we're going to hit 90. It's still 89 in here. What am I doing here? I don't really want to discount this hand. I want to draw some of the more expensive cards. Do I just secret passage? All right, sure. Got six cards in hand. That's nice. Nothing gets past me. That was a good Jandis. Can you believe I got our gold? I've actually been pretty lucky on this free to play account.
Shadow Step, Brain Freeze, Secret Passage, Wicked Stab, Ogre. Ogre's not bad. So there's kind of three I want and three I don't want. Hmm. But it does draw me three cards, which is nice. Sangamar Strange, the reservoir remains. Okay, Ogre. Hysteria is what I was thinking of when I said madness. So that worked out pretty well. We could push 10 damage here. I could actually play that again and deal 17. Does that mean I have lethal? I got 10 cards in hand, so 5, 10. So many options. Shadow step it. Play it. I mean, I think that's the route we take. Hey, loser! Surface filth! These would deal more damage next turn, but. What Actually, let's play this. Because it'll do seven damage next turn. I'm drawing three cards here. Actually, I might not get it. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, so four damage brain freeze. That's really annoying. That's an upgrade, probably. Operation. What did he? This is pretty funny. Because this is seven damage to face next turn, plus this six. The path is clear for the worthy. <laughs> nice. Sangamar Strain, what sharp the red your wing for your aims. Well, that was fun. Thanks, Golden Jandis. Valera versus Thrall for Doomhammer. Shaman. I honestly don't know what Shaman is. I know in Wild, Shamans are being more control lately. But what are they doing in standard? Just like the OTK weapon burn thing? I guess I shouldn't keep Jandis. 
but I will keep brain freeze in case they pressure the hell out of me. It's one of the challenges with not only playing infrequently, but then also playing standard and wild. You just you get your metas mixed up. I am. Because I don't really know what this is, but I'm guessing it's more aggressive and obviously they're playing a turn one elemental. I want to get this out so that, you know, maybe I can do a turn two man crick. Um, or, you know, I've got some removal options here if I need them. Turn up the heat. Cool. Initiating overdrive. I think I just play man quick here. What the fuck? These cost zero. It does really suck that I have to use a Wicked Stab to trigger this. You fight me, you get burned! I guess I'll prioritize my health here. Nothing gets past me. My hand is awful. But, you know, lots of good top decks with Rogue. Turn up the heat. So let's draw one of them. That was not one of them. Because now I have to play Plunderer, Shadow Step, Brain Freeze, Plunderer. And I'm still doing it, but I don't feel good about it. Give me that. Love what I, want. I guess alternatively I could hold on to the Shadow Step because that's more valuable. Love what I Nothing gets past me. Yeah, that makes more sense. Two minions on the board. Because if one of them lives, then I need to, you know, activate a combo. I could shadow step it. Like if I top deck field contact, I shadow step that, replay it, draw cards. Mm. Oh, Otherwise, I save this for Kazakas, Jandis, Mutinous, Alexstrasza. Now, do I really shadow step this just so that I can play the Wand Thief? I won this! I think so. I don't really want to pick Flame Strike because I can't combo it with anything. Not that I would want to hold on to Counterspell, I would just want to play it. I'm worried that Flame Strike's not really going to matter that much because ultimately this guy wants to burst me down even though he's obviously failing at bursting me down. So 
So obviously the best top decks are Secret Passage, which we have two of, so about a 1 in 10 chance. But Zakus and Jandus are both great. You love to see it. That wasn't even the best one, but it's good enough. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. I'm not normally happy about taking the card draw, but in this Can't case, take, a wager, yeah, take the card draw. I might have a few minions left over here to buff, but this feels better. That was a misplay, wasn't it? Oh wow, double pump tank, okay. Kind of an all or nothing play. That should upgrade, probably. Well, this is looking promising. The shaman who wants to burst us down has done one damage to us in eight turns. That was the wrong order. Efficient is sufficient. Guaranteed nothing. Operation. Nothing gets this heat is killing me. <sighs> it's like I'm literally playing in a sauna right now. Apparently 94 degrees outside. Didn't cost us. Feels good. Nothing gets past me. Is this like a really healthy meta or something? Our first five games have all been against different classes. 